hello, ciao, hola. Thank you for stopping by and visiting me once again, me and my friends. As you see, we have two special guests today. This is Leo and this one here is Mousy. Today I'm going to read you a short part of my book, Leo and Mousy, Refugees Unwanted. And I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 1 Once upon a time, there was a little helpless mouse. He had left his home, family and friends to find freedom and peace. He decided to run away from the war in the forest of his birthplace in the hope he would find a better future in a foreign forest. If he only knew what a big mistake it was to leave everyone and everything he loved behind for an uncertain future. But let me start from the beginning. The mouse's name was Toby. He was an intelligent and ambitious mouse. Toby had many hobbies, but what he enjoyed the most was reading, painting, and sewing. He had big dreams and wanted to become a successful and world-known fashion designer and own his own art gallery where he would exhibit his artwork with other talented artists. Toby lived in a peaceful forest in the middle of Asia where all kinds of animals were living next to each other in full peace. Size, race, and color didn't matter. Everyone was helpful and kind. Jealousy didn't exist. The animals always supported each other and enjoyed a joyful life full of laughter. Truly, nothing is more precious than being surrounded by loving and caring friends and family members. No wonder that this breathtaking woodland was named Paradise by its residents. They had everything they needed, a lot of food, all kinds of sweets, crunchy nuts and delicious cheese. They lived in comfortable and smashing homes in family resorts located next to a long azure blue river on a magnificent scenery. Everybody was busy in their own field of interest. The adults worked and the children went to school. The people had their own restaurants, bakeries, chocolate shops, cheese factory, barber shop, flower shop, retail store, a library, gym club, art galleries, a cinema, theater house, and even a college and university. The Paradise residents didn't have a hospital, pharmacy, or police station. You wonder why? Well, you have to read the whole story. Get your book on Amazon. This is Leon Mousy, and this book is also available in German, Italian, and Spanish. Me and my friends say goodbye for today. Leo is saying goodbye. Toby is saying goodbye. Ciao, ciao. Adios. See you soon. Bye, bye.